Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's astrological forecast for May 29th, 2023 is the void of course moon at 546 a.m. EDT and then at 1051 a.m. EDT the waxing gibbous moody moon is in relationship focused Libra. People in your life may require more attention. Try to help them out. You'll feel great for helping. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for May 29th, 2023 is Awas. I was. The letter E. The meaning is horse. The associations are balance, stability, harmony, teamwork, trust, and loyalty. Today, your focus is likely on that of others. You could be creating the stability that working as part of a team can bring. You don't have to do everything yourself. Trust others to help you. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for May 29, 2023 is, It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This card indicates that you're protecting your heart from hurt because of painful relationship experiences. However, the angels can only bring as much romance as you'll allow inside. If you have a shield around your heart, how is love to get in? A closed heart repels the sensitive partner you're trying to attract. Following your inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to feel loved and loving. Trust your intuitive senses with respect to other people's trustworthiness and open your heart to those who are kind and gentle. Ask the angels to bring caring individuals, including a romantic partner, into your life, and they'll do so, provided that you listen to and follow their guidance. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for May 29th, 2023 is Autumn. Card 43, Autumn, releasing. Follow the wind today. In the autumn, the fairies dash about, checking to make sure that all the leaves are falling. Sometimes the leaf needs a little nudge, and the fairies are happy to oblige. The fairies have a lot to do before they can rest in winter. Autumn is about letting go. Just like the trees retract their sap in the winter, we retract our energy. The Autumn card tells you to store up your energy for yourself right now. Feel your energies begin to collect around you and pull them inward, close to your body. Conserve energy. If you drew this card, you are being told to let go of old habits and ideas that tend to take up energy that can be better used elsewhere. It is a time of sorting. A time to release old stuff and to see what is truly precious to you and what you really want to keep in your life. This may be a time of weeding out so that you can do the prep work for a new project in your life. If you feel your energy lower, don't panic. Flow with nature's cycles and rest and relax. Autumn offers us magical qualities that inspire reflection and thinking. Go deeper down into your roots to reflect on where your life is going and where you want it to go. It is also a good time to do some writing or journaling. This may be a day for you to curl up under a quilt with a good movie and a hot cup of tea. Your chant I go to that deep place within myself. I experience moving down into the center of my being. A deep calmness fills my body and soul. I am still yet very much alive. I feel my heart beating in strong, steady rhythm. I am here for myself. So be it. 
Today's Daily Starseed Oracle card for May 29th, 2023 is Starkeeper. Starkeeper, Cosmic Ancestor, see the light by staying grounded. You're an ancient keeper of the stars. Here to anchor and seed your light in a unique way. You've likely been incarnating on Earth for some time, dedicated to an era of awakening and bringing about a long-awaited shift in the planet's evolution. We are at a tipping point now. The survival of Earth and all its species is coming to a head. The more grounded you remain during this transitional period, the more helpful you'll be. The more you tend to the flames of your own heart, the more love you'll anchor into the planet. The wisdom of the stars is imprinted in your soul. The more soul fragments you call home, the more this wisdom is seeded here. You may be called to be in different places in the world to anchor this light. Perhaps by taking a trip or living in a certain location, you may also find yourself experiencing awakening symptoms. The more grounded you remain, the more stable Earth's energy will become and the less reactive humanity will be. You are here for a double mission to grow as an individual and as part of a larger collective that's bringing about a shift in frequency. Trust that you can be in the world, but not of it. And lead a truly glorious life. Your star seed activation. Place your hand on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. I acknowledge that I am a star keeper. I choose to anchor my light and stay as grounded as possible. Today's Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for May 29th, 2023 is Wings of Light. Wings of light becoming something new. The priestess in this card moves to the right, the future, with great speed and purpose. Wings of light and vibrating waves of rainbow energy propel her forward. Get ready, for this card heralds magnificent and colorful changes are coming your way. A powerful time of personal transition. Perhaps even total transfiguration is upon you. Your spirit is working from within to bring radical shifts in your attitude and energy. Old feelings of being stuck will drop away with every step you take. This shift can be so significant that it could redefine you and reveal the essential nature of your soul. Even your appearance may change on a practical level. Something you're working on might be just about to take off, or this may mark an accelerated external move a sudden change of personal residence, or even an unexpected job relocation. These cards can indicate some major changes coming your way. Be open to these and other adventures. Your affirmation, I open up to the light and inner power of my true eternal flame. I am willing to change, to make new choices, and to move in new directions. So your daily energy reading for May 29th, 2023 is, the astrology is telling you to help out whoever you can today. They get what they need, and you feel good too. Awas asks you to focus on being a team player. The Romance Oracle reminds you 
that your heart must be open to love for it to arrive in your life. The fairies ask you to conserve all of your energies for only yourself today. You will need it in the future. The Starseed Oracle reminds you that by staying grounded, you help raise the energy vibration of the whole planet. The Priestess of Light Oracle asks you to be open to new transformation and changes. All of these energies are very compatible with each other. Yes, be a team player. Yes, look out for everyone else. Make sure that you're making sure that other people are okay. Keep your heart open. View people with compassion, right? But also remember to take care of yourself. Remember to conserve your energy in such a way. Don't be so quick to volunteer to help someone. Just because they're emoting to you doesn't mean you need to be the immediate solution. If it really needs to be you, then okay. Be stay grounded, stay humble, and go help that person. Remember, by being grounded and humble and feeding to yourself first, you become open. Your heart is open. You're open to new transformation, new changes. And in doing so, you help raise the energy vibration of the entire planet. Each of us is in our nature, an acupuncture point on the world's energy grid. And the energy that you hold to yourself becomes a beacon of light for yourself and others. Totally worth making sure you take care of yourself first.